Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So this is kind of my kind of my first look at the patch notes for um for the update on the 25th because I'm waiting. F I've been waiting for this. If you've been following my daily series, I've basically been talking about this for a very long time. Talking about um you know the dagger changes, kind of just chilling, waiting for the update to actually drop. And this this update news has has actually gotten me really really hyped. And if you guys haven't seen this, I'll be going through every everything that um. The thing the, the update notice covers, as well as what I think is um, like basically just my thoughts thoughts on it. Also, some predictions of what I think could happen um, with it once the changes are implemented. So first things first, there's going to be a, a, an arena. Um, arena is different from Coliseum. It's not it's not the same thing. Like they're not changing the Coliseum to arena. They're adding a new PVP system actually called the arena. Um, I think this is a really, really smart, smart move. Like this is just like I didn't think of this before. Like I, I actually think this is genius. Um, instead of fixing the the guild battle system, which is broken right now, like they can't fix the guild battle system really, really quick. Like there's no way. When I first saw this, I thought they were, that they were gonna just change the Coliseum to to, um, to arena. But what this says here is they're making it. Um, they're making a separate. PvP system called the Arena, and the Arena is probably going to be one of the main things in the game. I think it's probably going to be the end game of this game. Like it's 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 a system that's made to um, be competitive, and it's also going to be full manual. So there's a lot of strategy and stuff involved in the in the actual Arena fights, and it's also it's also blind. Like it's blind. It, you're you can't choose which enemy you want to fight and stuff. So. Um, I think this could be fun. Like it's gonna be kind of like the live PP PVP for Summoner's War, like the, a separate PVP. Um, and this gives players an incentive. Like the players that actually want to compete in this, an incentive to raise more monsters and stuff. Which is what I stated before in like my my video before um, about you know the things that are wrong with this game and and how to fix them. Um, my my main my main point in the video was talking about incentives about trying to make it so players have a like actually want to raise their monsters want to raise more monsters you know to to actually be stronger in the game to progress and um i think this is going to fix things if it's going to fix that part like it's 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 a it i feel like it's a band-aid it's like it's not a permanent solution because um it's kind of something they they cooked up along the way because of how the game is headed um they like probably I'm not the first one that told them or maybe they, they noticed because they're they're experienced game developers like NCSoft is a really big company although this is their first mobile game they probably aren't experienced in that regard but um, they are experienced in making like MMOs and stuff so they they know all about like player incentives about what they what players do want to progress to want to continue playing um, their game and also want want to keep spending as well like there's there's no reason to spend or or play the game to get stronger um, if if there's nothing for them to to do you know so this gives players something to do um, yeah it's basically just the mechanics are basically a manual battle system um, it's blind matchmaking and then there's sessions and stuff and um, you're gonna be able to use a lot of pets like Guild Wars which is this this point three is probably my um, just I think the best thing about about the arena system like being able to use a lot of pets and stuff um, it, it makes it so players have an incentive to keep raising monsters but I don't know what this actually means because um, because if if the like if the fight is still something like ten on ten uh, but you're able to switch in a lot of pets or if it's like the guild war system where you have to use a lot of pets to actually do the guild battle system, like you have to use every single pet available to you. Well, not every single one, but it's it. It would be more beneficial to have like as many pets as possible than the arena. Like I think is is the way it's um, is the way that's gonna make players want to keep raising monsters, which is um, which is one of the I think the most more unique designs of Lineage Red Knights. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that later once I go into into monsters there's also new currency um, for for battle coin and there's 
going to be a new map. Uh, map 9 is going to be open, Region 9, Dr Fire Dragon's Nest. So basically, you... I'm not sure if this means that they're going to unlock the next um, level of Transmute, or if gold, like the legendary quality plus one is, or not plus one, like plus zero legendary quality is the highest um, trans. It's the highest transmute right now, because I've seen on the on the uh, Korean and Asia or in Taiwan servers that people actually have have them at legendary plus um, plus zero. But maybe maybe there's a plus one, but they just haven't gotten there yet. I haven't seen it because I don't have any. Um, of my pets transmuted to legendary yet, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that. Um, the rewards for for maps are basically gonna be increased. Uh, more more gold. More gold is always nice. I love gold. Um, dagger pouch increased from exploration. This is actually really good because most of the stuff you get from exploration, besides the gold and the resources that you know, probably eventually someday you're going to be able to craft an item with. Um, there's not really anything else, so you basically do the exploration really just for for gold and stuff. So um, having bonus dagger pouches just gives players another incentive to want to do their explorations whenever it's up, whenever it's available to them. So that's that's really nice. Um, and the rewards for guild battles, the the gold rewards for guild battles are also going to be increased. That's, um, I guess that's that's all right. They're changing some some gameplay systems um, for for fortress battles, which I think is pretty good. Um, if your guild members are attacking, their info will be shown, and if there's uh, guild members who are um, in the waiting room, their info will be shown as well. On top top of that, you can come up with war strategy. So they're they're fixing the chat system, which is. Um, which is also another another main point um, that a lot of players before have have uh, complained about. Um, so that's that's. I don't know. I like I. All these are just speculations. I haven't seen the actual update yet. Probably it'll be easier once I see the actual update. But this is just the first look at the patch notes. I think it's um, you know to get people hyped and shit. Um, <laughs> upgraded event icon indicator light. So if you've if you uh, completed some event on the lobby, it will show an indicator to see if there's any rewards to be claimed. That's really nice, making sure you don't miss anything. Uh, recharge cost for daggers will be decreased. I've been waiting for this for so long. Like, this is the biggest thing I've been waiting for since the update. Because if it's good, I'm going to start spending again and probably going... Like, the, if the update's good, if the arena's good, I'm probably going to start spending again and, um, and just probably using all my diamonds to keep refilling, keep playing non-stop. Um, and yeah, Fortress Battle going to change to from 2 minutes to 1 minute. This is actually a pretty big thing because um, a lot of times in Fortress Battles, especially if you're fighting some guild that um, isn't as strong, like isn't as strong as your guild, what would happen is you would have someone go in and they would just do like a 2 minute battle and just completely, you know, obliterate the other guild um, and end the essentially end the Fortress Battle and none of your other members are able to go in and farm so this makes it so it's harder for them to for for players in your guild to like you know solo the other guild and gives more players um, chances to farm and stuff and this also rewards the, the guild that has more active players in guild battles so that's that's really nice um, this is just a visual visual thing and that's the end of everything yeah, I sent. I sent. I left a comment just uh, thanking them for for being so open and transparent with the players. I think this is really, really nice. It's not a lot of companies that do that, and they they really didn't have to. Like they could just you know do whatever, and they don't have to post something like this for players to see. Um, but I'm super glad that they did because it it just shows that they they um, they're willing and open to to communication with with uh, with the players. And it shows that they're 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 listening to to all the opinions and stuff that have been going on, and and yeah, they're making they're making uh, efforts and stuff to to keep going. All right, so I talked a little bit about the actual transmute system before, like why I think this system is is really good. Um, a lot of people might think that the system with the evolution and transmute is like is like not as good for free-to-play free players because you know obviously 
um, the, the ones that are like hardcore pay to win have like full six stars, like all transmuted to max and stuff. Um, and then other players are like stuck on a bottleneck and they can't really progress anywhere else. Um, I don't think the system exactly is exactly wrong. It's just there's it just it's just how the the game is right now because guild battles aren't competitive. I think the original intent for the design of the guild battles was to make it so you can use a lot of monsters. Like it's it's going to be beneficial for you to build an entire army instead of just a team of five monsters. But it, the only competitive thing in the game right now is the Colosseum, which only requires you to have five monsters, and that's why the game feels kind of feels kind of uh, pay to win. That's 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 why. But um, I don't think that's the original intent or design of the way the game is, um, just based on how I see the transmute and evolution system. Because when, whenever you're stuck on a, on a bottleneck, like you can't transmute it any further, you can go back and you can work on other monsters and raise those monsters up, you know, during the day when it's not, like, things that aren't on daily lockouts, like all these materials that you can farm from easy mode, like they're not on a daily lockout. Um, you can go back and work on them. So, there's... There just needs to be some system where you're able to use that this army that you built, you know, and that's that's all there really is to it. And I think the arena probably is going to be their their band aid fix to that, but um, it's not gonna like it's probably not something that's gonna like uh, you know be be super long term. I think I still think the guild battle system is is what they're aiming for. So I think the arena system is just to just kind of um, kind of made as a as an alternative to, like, you know, alternative solution while they work on the actual guild battles, which is going to take a while for them to fix. And this keeps current players happy, and we keep playing the game. That's that's pretty much it. So I think they're 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 doing a good job. Uh, they're really smart about it as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I really got to say about about the. The new update. Um, that's all I can say right now with what I've seen just from the patch notes um, and my predictions. But once the actual guild battle comes out tomorrow, which I'm super super excited about, um, if it's good, I'm going I'm going really hardcore, just non-stop farming. You know, hardcore pay to win, non-stop farm. Um, that's how I'm gonna do it. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's that's all I got to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and. Peace out.